this is our vinyl. It's not the vinyl I wanted, but I grabbed the wrong one. I did want the cardinal one that's black and then it has a cardinal and it says something about heaven, but it is what it is. These are our ribbons, which is nice because like I said, the little snow, um, the snow ones match the snow on the around the red here. If you do like the cosmic and I'll show you what it looks like when it's open. Both green, green, I think in green too. It'll really, because it's got a lot of green in the vinyl, right? I think that'll look really pretty. Come on, Laura, open the bag. There we go. Now, I'm not going to use as much this time. This is what Cosmic Twist is. So it's great for ruffles in your wreath, but it's also great for the background of the rail when you don't need you, you don't need so much mesh. Like you don't need mesh to actually do a whole rail. The tool or this stuff works fabulous. Um, this is 25 yards as well. So I'm gonna go with the green. I'm gonna put my vinyl on. Now and make sure there's no glitter all over it. And the only place I think I'm gonna use the cardinal ribbon is, the only, I think I might just use it for the bow. I will be using zip ties for this one. That'll be more in my element. So just put a little bit of water on again. Make sure there's no Duchess hair all over it, which everything in my house has Duchess hair. Pull off your vinyl. Now I'm doing it upside down again because it's it's a little bit easier to line it up this way. And you, with the water helps you lift it if you need to, but once it dries, it's on there. And I'm gonna go, it's a little bit crooked because I'm going, I'm looking at the point of the birdhouse and this is the center of the rail right there. There we go, perfect. Not that hard. Okay, we're gonna squeegee this on, get those bubbles out and get it adhered. Like I said, it does take about 24 hours to dry, but you won't, you can still decorate. You won't have to wait. I'm just kind of looking side at the side to see if there's any bubbles. I think I got a little bit of glitter under there, but that's okay. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using zip ties. So I'm gonna kind of do the same thing, but I'm gonna preload with zip ties. So here, I'm not gonna do the center. Oh yeah, maybe I will. I'll put a little bit of a little bit of mesh under there because then it lifts the bow up a little bit. So you don't have your bow puckered in. And uh, we teach that a lot in our VIP group about the pucker. And I think I'm just gonna go around, this time I'm gonna go around five times. I'm going to use, this green will be able to do two rails. And I think I'm going to use See, I don't like I'm not a big fan of two and a half inch on the side of the rails except for the middle. Actually, I might just use these two. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's go around. Oh, 
one, two, three, four, five. Let's just do five per zip tie. And this stuff is stiffer than um, tool as well. So let's fold it in half, make sure both are even. And I'm gonna do it the lazy way. I'm gonna go put my tool on and then I'm gonna go over top. with another zip tie. That's lazy. And then I'm gonna use the hole to the outside. One, oops, make sure this is at 10. One, two, three, four, five. And if you don't have a measure buddy, what are you waiting for? This is like the best thing since sliced bread for crafting. It measures up to 20 inches. So especially if you're working on gnomes, the big old gnomes with the triangle boards, you could do your fur, um, your, um, your ribbons, your mesh, all kinds of stuff with it. You could even make a bow with it. Mrs. Blewett from Jackie's Wreath and Things. She taught us how to make a bow with them. God, that's even a lot. Yes, Measure Buddy is most definitely a great tool because it goes from eight inches, that's from 14, and then pull out number two all the way to 20. And then you push them in and throw it in your crafting caddy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, everybody that gets one loves one. Loves their measure buddy. And Dave and I invented the measure buddy as well. So much cleaner looking. I think the measure buddies are twelve ninety nine. I believe. One, two, three, four, five. This stuff is um, really good for Christmas trees as well. And of course, any kind of wreath, but they make great ruffles. I think Michelle from Monkey's Creations, I think she did, I think she used some cosmic mesh in a wreath recently, a Halloween wreath. I'm not sure if it was for a witch hair or what she did. Yeah, everybody loves the mesh body. This stuff is so pretty. I'll show you up close. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on it. So it's it's shimmery. Now, when I post this on YouTube, I'll probably separate the two uh, tutorials here.
this stuff is really pretty. All right, a few more. This stuff, you could probably even get three wreaths made out of this, I think. This is pretty, it's pretty dense. Two, three, four. And I know we have, in this cosmic tool, we have lots of the fall colors. And Halloween purple. So check it out. Yeah, I think this green, I think it'll make it really pop. Uh, my ribbons. I actually brought the green home to use in my Snow White Witch, which I was going to do this weekend and I just never got around to it. See, isn't the zip ties nicer? And I'm just gonna go over top of another zip, of these zip ties with for my ribbon. Now, if you're taking your time, you can put your ribbon and your tool or, what, or your mesh or whatever you're using in at the same time with one zip tie. All right, last one. It is regular burlap. I have 12 inch. Now, if you were in our VIP, been in my VIP group, you see me make my, um, uh, all burlap wreath really easy on the ring board. And so I got more of the 12 inch in, but I also got 18 inch too. And with the 18 inch, you do it exactly the same, which I'll probably do it tomorrow night maybe. Or tomorrow I uh, use a burlap because I brought some red burlap home to do a Christmas one um, so I did get some 18 inch too you just don't have to use as much of that burlap as the 12 inch I know everybody wants me to do oh, everything that we got in but I'm only one person I can only do so much by myself this is pretty all by itself this green why does this one keep tuck that in? All right, one more. And we did use half a roll. So you can use, <clears throat> I have enough for do another one. Actually do red and green and no ribbons. That would be pretty and really economical for like a, a craft show or something, or a gift. If you just wanna make something simple. I know, the, the, the different two different colors. I wouldn't even have to use ribbons, I don't think, because it's so pretty. All right, there we go. Can trim it up, but it's going to have ribbons going over top. Let's give it a haircut, a little haircut. Oh, that's better. All right, so let's do our ribbons. So I think, like I said, I think I'm just going to stick with these two um, for the ribbon tails, and then I'm going to put this in the center for the, uh, uh, just a simple, simple bowl. 
yeah, the burlap colors, burlap's hard to get. And I got red and gray and turquoise. And so you do have enough for uh, another rail um, with this. All right. Now this is ribbon number RGA1922X6. And it's, it's actually quite thick. Nice ribbon. It goes nicely with the gingham at the bottom here. And then this, it's a glittery, it's got a little bit of glitter, but it's got a, like snow, snow, what's it, snow something. I can't remember. It's new. It's just a new ribbon. And this is RGC129124. And then this cardinal ribbon is RG08892. And it doesn't fray. You're absolutely right. All right, let's alternate with these two. I'm gonna do 12 inch again. So I need one, two, three, four, four of each, five on the bottom again. So one, and I'm doing them 12 inches again. One, two, three, four, five. one. Now there is slits on the top of the measure buddy, but I've gotten so used to it. I just kind of toss it around and I don't even use the clips either, but the clips are there for you. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got this in red with the white snowball or snow, whatever it is, and black. All right. Okay, I'm gonna dovetail these. Um, the it depends if you have a ten inch sign, you can glue it. I would use E six thousand. But why would you want to glue a sign when you can get a vinyl for half the price? Just saying. I'm speedy because I'm hungry. <laughs> no, it's not orange. It's, I can promise you it's red. Uniqueinthecreek.com, all the ribbons and, ma and the mesh came from. The green mesh is called a cosmic mesh and it's six inches by 25 yards. All right. Okay, let's get her done, get her done. All right, so I'm going just over top. So there's the back of it, much neater than the pipe cleaner. So what I'm doing is just going down and up. Yes. I, I just, I agree with them. It looks orange, but folks, it, look, it's it, is, red. it is red. I promise. I was red. looking on my computer and it looked orange too. No, it's not orange. It's very red. I promise. All right, so let's do the red on top of the black for this one. Ooh. Good choice with the green in behind. So now I'm gonna put the red with the black on top for the bottom one.
we do ship to the UK. However, we do have a, uh, if you're looking for the boards, we do have um, a distributor over in the UK. Sorry, my voice is going. Dave's gone to get me a drink. Thanks, honey. Almost done. Look how pretty. Green was a nice choice. So, what was the other tool? Yeah, okay, that's what I think. Because that red tool would have taken away from the red ribbon. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. But we could have just left, did alternate blue or green and red with just this cosmic stuff. But it looks pretty. And I'm just going to put a simple two-loop bow right in the center with oh, this Oh, you're going to use that one, are you? I think so. So let's do the other side now. Again, I'm just going over top of the current zip ties that are there. Somebody had mentioned that would be good, great stuff for doing thing one and thing two. Oh yeah, there's this stuff is actually pretty cool, pretty awesome. I don't know where, where was that one. I think it was in uh, Unique Wreath Creators that did the tree on the wing board. Oh, the oh somebody did a beautiful maple tree on a wing board. Um, who was it? That was. I can't remember who it was now. Oh, I can't either. Somebody that posts all the time, too. It was beautiful. You guys are coming up with some funky stuff. If you guys <clears throat> are just joining and you've not heard of Unique in the Creek, you need to go to Unique Wreath Creators. It's a Facebook group. It's free. Um, it's all kinds of Unique in the Creek wreath makers in there. And the stuff that they come up with will blow your mind. Some fabulous, fabulous stuff. I'm gonna bring this down more. There. There, that's better. Very pretty. Michaela, thanks, Tina. Tina Kelly is the knower of everything. I cannot wait to meet Tina Kelly at TDR. So if you're going to TDR, you are going to meet the infamous Tina Kelly. She works for me, and I have not even met her, and I'm so excited. Some maple candy. I think I still have a whole box. I'll have to bring it to a crafter's convention. Anybody in here going to crafter's convention? In a couple weeks. Um, Luscious Lobbies is the UK site. Luscious Lobbies. My friend Annette is the owner. The most fabulous woman you'll ever meet. Except for me. <laughs> Just joking, Annette. Loves you. All right. We got the sides done. Oops, this is supposed to go over here. Why did I screw that up? Okay, I did something weird. What else is new, but... I wish I had the other vinyl. Although this is, is this going to be pretty too. This is a really pretty vinyl. But I grabbed the wrong one that I wanted to grab. Yeah, the wooden ones, the, the, the wooden ones are good. Um, I've tried a couple of them. Um, I just found that the rail part breaks really easy. And the pipe cleaners, they slide. <clears throat> but um, there's some really nice ones out there. Okay, then. I might just do one each in here so so it doesn't look so cluttered I'm just gonna put a black and white one there because then you don't have to use as much it's, it's stiff. It's stiff. 
Like I still, with this Cosmic, I could probably really have gotten away with using a third. So you could probably make three rails out of one roll for sure. Because it's got really good coverage. But I was just wanting to show you guys because we were getting bombarded with questions on how to use all the stuff that we posted. And you guys know if I post something weird, you know I'm going to end up doing something with it. Okay, yeah, so I just did the one black and one red here. It's perfect. That way my bow will really stand out. And I'm going to go down, and there's the center. On the bottom center, I am going to put one of each of these tails. I'm going to cut some more. Yeah, th that's why I got this stuff. I'm, I'll probably sell out really fast, but I can get some more. So I think I need two more of these. And two more of the red. Yeah, the boards are, they're a lot of fun. Seriously, if you're watching and you've not heard of Unique Wreath Creators, I really think you should go in there and you got to see what some of these people are making. They blow me away. And I can't, I, I'm the inventor of the board. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. Um, this jute rope I got in. It's jute, almost like burlap. Um, I got a bunch of the orange to make flower centers. So if you're looking for an orange flower center, um, that'll work great. Just grab um, a package of the five inch half balls. I know orange um, for fall for the centers is very popular. I also got orange bling rope in. I don't know if you guys seen, but I got a whole bunch of bling rope in. So, all right, so I'm going to do one tail down the center. Okay, so that's the bottom center one right here. Again, just going over top of the other zip tie. And our bow is going to go right there. Good choice with the green. Here's the gold. This is the gold cosmic. Really pretty too. And like I said, I had brown. I've got all kinds of different colors. A wine color. The wine color is really pretty. A rust color. It's like a red with gold in it. Because we're having a hard time getting mesh, guys. We gotta use what we can get. Yes, it's in two weeks. I'm using lime green, cosmic twist it's called. All right, so I'm gonna go, I did black. We're gonna go black, black and white. My warehouse guys are going to kill me tomorrow. <laughs> the
the group is Unique Wreath Creators. It's an amazing group. If you have any questions, um, all the people in there are like Unique in the Creek lovers, and they will answer pretty much anything. And they, they'll even tell you, lots of them will even tell you how they made their wreath. It's a pretty fabulous group. I'm in a lot of groups and I haven't seen anything like that. It's like a big family. So as you can see, you don't need very many, much materials to make a, uh, one of the rails. Which rink did you skate at? Niagara Falls Arena. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, let's make a bow. Look at this, guys. Isn't that pretty? And there's like, you can, <laughs> I have so much ribbon left. You literally can make, well, don't use as much as this. Use a third for one rail. A third of this cosmic stuff. You could even use a third if you wanted, of the tool. The tool is a little bit more see-through than the cosmic stuff. Uh, it's a little bit softer and pliable. This is the red, obviously. This is the white. Of course, it's got some glitter in it. I was gonna put, look at this, birch glitter ribbon, but I think I like it just like this. And let's make a bow and then we're done. You can make a nice fancy bow up here. But if I a pity. Okay, bow maker. I am literally just gonna do a double two with this really pretty ribbon. I don't know if I gave you guys the number yet, but it's RG08892. Look at this. Um, I don't know if you can see the glitter. It's sparkly as well on the snow. So the little snowflakes are sparkly. So is the, oh, so is the uh, cardinal. Cuteness. All right. I am going to so, like I said, this is eight, nine, 10, 11. I think I'm going to do my tail at 12. And I'm only using this ribbon. Oh, Michelle's going to yell at me for the directional. Ah, oh, this is a directional ribbon, and I'm not good at directional ribbon. And Michelle was going to yell at me for making my cardinals upside down. <laughs> oh darn let's see I'm not farting around with the <laughs> directional I can't do it Mary <laughs> Ah! <laughs> you got to do a double twist or something. I don't know. No, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> now I'm all here. Screw it. My birds are upside down. <laughs> so how do I do that? I know how I can do it. I can cheat and just cut the piece. <laughs> that ain't right, Wanda. Just cut it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Watch. 
because she's going to give me heck. <laughs> Don't do what I do, but look, it works. <laughs> I'm just not very good at bows, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but whatever works, nobody will be able to tell. <laughs> Cut this little piece off so it's not so noticeable. I know what I'll do. I'll make a. I know what I'm going to do. Did I make a loop going on? I do. All right. So I'm going to put a pipe cleaner in behind. Is that what you do, Virginia? <laughs> I just don't have the brain power right now to sit and figure it out. And you, you're in the VIP group, so she does. You do know that she goes ballistic on the, I am a goober. Uh, she, she goes a little freaky on the directional thing. You guys all know that. I'm going to make a little piece of tape. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Got a piece of the this black and white gingham. Fold it. I'm cheating. Don't tell anybody. No, the birds. Well, I would put the birds in upside down and would, wouldn't bother me one bit. I wouldn't hear the end of it from Michelle. So I would rather cheat and put it up the way I did it than listen to her. Bitch at me because my birds are upside down. There we go. And it works. Just a simple bow right in the center. Just going down the two center holes. Thank you. I know it doesn't bother me either. I, I don't... I could care less about the directional thing, but when you're teaching, I guess you should teach properly. And I'm, that is not the proper way, <laughs> but it works. Look, my birds are not, my tails are really long, but my birds are not upside down. So I don't want to pull my bow in too, too tight. Look how nice and neat the back is compared to those stupid pipe cleaners. And don't get me wrong, for the people who love pipe cleaners, go for it. I even sell them in all different colors, but I hate using them. made four loops but I didn't want to. I wanted it simple like this. Sometimes less is more. So we're going to take your ribbon and just kind of curl it, put it in like a scissor. 
I'm not going to roll this one. There we go. See, don't need a ton. Make your loop nice and full. There we go. Of course, you can just move your ribbons around and everything. Now, how pretty is that? You are late, Mom. Where have you been? I made two. Now, a hanging thing. Do I have any black? Let me see. Oh, I have this red rope here. Look at this little tiny piece of red rope. And I'm going to use that for my hanger. There we go. Cute little hanger. Now I can make a little bow. A simple little bow if I wanted to go over. Actually, maybe I will. Watch. Watch. Watch me make a little bow. There we go. Piece de resistance. Hold that. How stinking cute is that? Look at that. I could make three of them. Because you have enough ribbons to make three of these. All right. 